all about extreme cross stitching. So I posted earlier today, I don't know if so far I didn't really have anyone that had any questions. So if you have a question, definitely let me know. Just so you know, at the top here, um, I want to make sure that we are on the same page. I posted the link to all of my prior videos. So you will have every single video that I've ever done with that um, comes under the, actually every video ever that I've done, uh, all my Stitch Talks at that link. It's stitchtalk.portiaparterfitness.com. All you do is click on that link and it will send you straight to the photo album. What you're going to want to do with that photo album is you're just going to um, basically bookmark it. And if you don't have a book, know how to bookmark it, I can totally bookmark it or uh, not bookmark it for you. I can totally teach you how to bookmark it and we can go from there. Um, I also have a link to the chart that I'm doing. If you want to check that out, it is a free chart, so that's cool. Hey, Helen. Hey, girl. And I have the link to the 28 count Easy Count Lugana, which is what I'm using as well. And these are, of course, all Heaven and Earth Designs um, products that I'm using. So, yay! Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get started. What I'm doing today is basically stitching. If you have questions, definitely let me know. And if you're watching, say hi. I like to see who's on. Hey, Lindsay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. If there are any issues with sound or anything, definitely let a sister know so we can move on with that. Okay, so... Um, let me get situated. So my goal is to finish like all of this. We'll see how far I get. Hey, Jamie. Um, it's going to be interesting to say the least. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I wanted to do a more of a close up with the camera, but uh, it ain't allowing me to do all that. So I am also doing tent stitching. I technically it's half cross. So And if you have questions, please post. Um, so the goal here is I stitch on this. Um, hold on, I gotta count some stitches here. I'm missing one. Yep, missing one. Okay, so the goal is Honestly, for me to finish this piece before I die. <laughs> hey, you know me, but isn't that the goal that we all have? We just want to finish our cross stitch before we die. And then if we do die, we're kind of like, you know, you want to leave your stuff to uh, somebody, which I feel like I need to put this in my will. Okay, so I want to show you something real quick about Easy PDF. Um, I'm going to use the blue color real quick just to mark off my stitches. What you can also do is click on this blue button. You can't see this because of this. I'll leave it real quick. You have this deal. You can change it to whatever color you want by clicking on there. So you just click. I ain't going to change the color because I don't feel like changing it back. So it is what it is. But that's how you change the color. Somebody asked that today. And I want to make sure I talk about that. All right. I want to make sure that. Okay. Hey, Roxanne. So I guess maybe next time I'll play some music so you don't have to just listen to the silence. But sometimes silence is good, right? <laughs> Helen, if only. If only. But I want to finish this um, sometime soon. But I honestly only stitch it on Wednesdays and Fridays because I got other stuff. I got to finish that dragon. Y'all know that dragon needs to be done. It's past due. Pass this dew point. Time to go. So then we can move on with our lives. And I can start vintage love letters. Woo -woo. I'm excited about that. But we'll see um, how fast I get this done. Which, um, the reason why I do half cross is because, um, honestly, to me, from afar, you're not really, look you're not really looking up close. So... You can't really see if it's half cross or not, and it definitely really does go faster. People say they don't think it goes faster, but you're literally doing half the cross, half the work. So I'm okay with that. Oops, we got to not. Okay. The struggle is real with the knots. 
I'm kind of stitching a little bit fast right now on purpose. I like to get a page of this color done, you know, sooner than later. But uh, I guess we'll see if that happens. And I do stitch through the eye of the needle. So if you're watching and you're like, what is she doing? I stitch different than the average person, I feel. Oh, I'm about to... Hold up. This is what happens when you talk and stitch at the same time. I don't recommend. Oh, goodness. Don't tell me how to do some frogging. Yep. My fault. Okay, so I totally was stitching in the wrong place. Because I was talking, not paying attention. Okay, so this is how I frog. Thankfully, it's not that many stitches. I just pull up and pull. With the darker colors, it sucks to frog because it takes freaking forever to make sure you have all the little dark pieces out. Okay, so... Hold up. Mm -mm. See, you guys get the good, the bad, and the ugly. Alright. Let me not make more knots for myself. What is life? <laughs> okay. Maybe not on that? Okay, looks better. Oh, the struggle is real. So the frog has visited, and we're only on page one. Cool. It's because I'm talking and stitching at the same time. It's really not a good idea. <laughs> no kidding, Naomi. No kidding. It's very true. This is my life. I get talking, get busy doing something, watching something, not paying attention, and then the frog comes. Because you gotta count. Which, I mean, I feel like I don't really have count too much when I stitch the way I do. Because I love having the easy count, which makes life easier. Haha, ha, what do you know? Okay, let me make sure. Okay, that's in the right place. And when we get, um, you know, after I get a couple of colors done, you'll start seeing uh, how I go about doing... A lot of you are like, I can't do extreme cross-country stitching because it gets hard where you can't see where you are, and it's kind of a lie. And the only reason I say that is because the way, when you stitch like this, you honestly really do just become one with the stitching. <laughs> it's like those, the movies where, like, become one with the whatever. It's like you become one with your stitching because you, you know your chart so well. You just start to know it well. You know exactly, like, what this part's going to look like and everything and you just you really get to know your project really well and um it's awesome and that's what i love about doing what i do and i'm able to look at uh the different holes i guess you could say in the stitching stitching or you know the pattern that's coming across i'm able to see that and i'm able to do my stitching around that based off of that and you'll you'll see it later on because right now, not too many colors are up in here. Alright. I gotta go back through that hole, because I ain't supposed to be there. Alright, we got some more done. Making stitching goals. Woo woo! I'd love to hear how many of you are trying extreme cross-country stitching, and what project you're doing. How many of you are still scared? Don't be scared. It's not hard, I promise. See, look how easy it is. Just making sure I didn't skip, I didn't mess something up again. Alright, we skipped a stitch. Now we're doing one, two. Okay, this is like driving me crazy. I'm telling you, these, these browns don't like me. All right, I need to do one more stitch above because uh, they ain't supposed to end like that. So I'm going to correct my stitching and go up a hole up here and then I'm gonna come down and I kind of just stitch however I feel like. Um, 
you know, it's nice to go in like block sections. By the way, I want to show you something. Hey, Leanne. Yeah, you did. Whoop, whoop. Um, I want to show you something real quick. I'm gonna, hopefully, I'm going to be able to undo it. I got this tip from my dear friend, Shelly. Give me a second. Okay, so this is what I learned. For those of you who are all about block, I was going to say blocking, who are all about parking and all that good stuff, this is what you can do. If you like parking and you like to stitch your little 10 by 10, whatever, I don't know what y'all be doing. Here's what you can do. Uh, you can still use Easy PDF similarly to how I do it. What you can do in regards to highlighting, kind of, a whole box is you can click on this box thing and you can just do, hold on, I might not do one post, one. no, it's not going to do it. Okay, hold on. I mean, I guess technically you could do that, but she had it shaded. Hold on, let me figure it out. Now, undo this. Delete. Give me a second. I have to figure out what it was she did. She did this. Oh, what is this? Thickness. No, that's not what I want. Hold up. Maybe this is it. If it's it, then. Oh, here we go. This is what she did. So she can do, she did like a whole block like this because he stitches with the block or whatever. And when she's done with the block, she just does that and then she carries on. And then when you exit out of this, it'll stay there. But I'm going to delete that because ain't nobody got time for that. So I'll show you one more time what I did. I went to this block thing. Then, see, I don't know if you need to. Nope. Okay, hold on. Block. Then, nope, here, yep, you can change the color, click on the color, change whatever color you want, whatever, then you just draw the block on like this, and you have your block stitching, for those of you who like to stitch that way, like I said, not my cup of tea, everybody got their own cup of tea, mine is, is I guess, the crazy tea, I don't know, <laughs> uh, yes, I am using two two pieces of flask Kimberly and yes it is because I am doing the stitching the way that I am I'm doing the half cross so I'm using two pieces of thread okay somebody else I'm trying to first cross crunch that's awesome Naomi that's really cool hey Larry thanks for hopping on all right I'm gonna continue with my little situation or her okay so, I also pre-thread my needles. Oh, I've been missing this whole side over there. I could have got. All right, I'll come back up and do that later. I pre-thread my needles so I don't take. I mean, everything I do is for speed. Speed, speed, speed. I like to be a ninja stitcher. So I can stitch as many projects as I can. Because I don't know about you, but I have a list of stuff I want to stitch. And, you know, we're not going to be here forever, so got to hop to it. And if you would like to try stitching with the eye of the needle, you totally should because it's a really cool thing to do. All you do instead of coming up with a point. Actually, let me show you because I'm about to actually count something real quick. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm stitching this part right here. I'm going to count over three blocks and then stitch there. Give me a second. So one, two, three. There you go. All right, and I'm just going to finish stitching this stuff that I didn't have a chance to stitch earlier. I also like with tent or with half cross, I guess technically this form of tent, um, you can stitch uh, like what I just did. I did from bottom to the top over here and then I was able to come back here and then keep going. If I was doing regular, I couldn't do that, which I think is pretty cool because I would have to go the opposite direction.
best thing about stitching is you can stitch however you want. And typically no one will judge you. It depends what group you're in and it depends on how much drama you have going down. All right, so is anyone stitching right now while I'm stitching? Because that would be the coolest thing if we were all stitching. We talked last time about doing um, a virtual stitch in. Actually, what you can do, which is actually really cool, um, I could do get a Zoom account, which is a free account you can get, and I could do a live like stitching thing where we would all be, I mean, we can turn the videos on. You could um, be just audio if you want, whatever, it doesn't matter. And we could all be stitching at the same time. I think that would be really fun. So if you think that's a cool idea and that's something you're interested in, um, you can definitely let me know and I can, I can see how we can go about that because I think it's a really cool idea. Oh, that's cool, Naomi. I've never done, um, actually, maybe I have done that type of embroidery. I always forget to mark these things off and then I get confused. Alright, so I'm almost done with this little block right here. I'm gonna count over three. One, two, three. Actually, I didn't need to do that. I could have just seen that it was supposed to be. I always use other uh, stitches as anchors and I didn't that time. Like I said, I count when I need to, but most of the time using other stitches is like my thing. All right, so now you're probably guessing, what is she gonna do? Or you're probably wondering, what is she gonna do now? Cause I have officially just finished this block right here. And so that begs the question, am I gonna stitch over here? Because look, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Technically, that's only eight boxes away. What is she going to do? I'm going to do it. I know most of you were probably in there and maybe restart. But uh, some of you have asked, like, how much do I travel? I typically try to only travel within 10 blocks. But uh, sometimes I get lazy. And I'm just going to finish out this section. So I'm stitching now this block. Uh, I'm probably going to do all of this and then go back over here. I know some of you are probably like, what does your back look like? Well, let me show you actually. Hold on, let me make sure this is going to do the thing. All right, maybe it can... Oh, you probably can't. Nope, you're not going to be able to see because I, well, I can move the camera. Hold on. Let me make sure my other things aren't doing what they're supposed to do. I just have to. That's what my back look like, looks like. And the only reason it looks kind of full is because um, I'm doing half cross. If I were doing actual continental tent, it'd be different. But we talked about continental tent and how I can't be doing all that. So um, we're going to be settling for this right here. Okay. So that's a little peeky peek at my back. Don't judge me. Yeah, Alicia, what happens is if you travel so much on the back, like over 10 stitches, it turns out to be really bulky. And then your, uh, your work does not lay w very well when it's framed. And the back's all bulky and like it gets kind of meh. So that's kind of how. Um... Yep, that too, Carly. It definitely, it can maybe show through. Um, it has bumps on the back. It just doesn't make it even. So it's kind of like, meh. So we try to stay away from that. But like I said, sometimes I get lazy and I'm trying to be, you know, undoing and redoing floss or whatever. But I can kind of show you a little bit of how you could do tent, tent if you wanted to. Which I guess I could do that on the next video because I honestly still need practice myself because I'm really not that great at it. But the main idea, I guess I could do a little now, is um, it's just a different way. So like, actually it's probably something, I might do that next week. If people are actually interested in tent, I could maybe do that. 
like I said, I'm not perfect at it, and the reason why I don't do it is because it takes a lot of brain power, and I really just want to relax. I want to chill out. Did I miss Stitch again? No, I didn't. Maybe you people are doing it to me. <laughs> Mess. It's okay. I'm doing all right. I gotta mark these off more often. Okay, so again, this is only going to be about a 30 minute video because ain't nobody trying to be watching this all day. And I know we all have lives and I actually want to stitch myself. Okay, so. Um, yeah, Carly, that's why people do the tent because they, um, they say that it helps with, oh, that's not what you're asking. Sorry, I misread the question. Will the tent cause tension variation? You mean, will it cause, like, will my tension change because I'm doing tent, like, in a negative way, or what do you mean? Add more to your question so I can make sure I'm answering it correctly. All right, now I'm going to count. Actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go over here with current work. Um, you mean will me all of a sudden doing tent change up things? I don't really think so, Carly. Um, I don't know. I mean, honestly, I just did that over here. I did some of it's tent and some of it's not on this section. Um, and it literally looks exactly the same all the way across. So, you know, I don't think it makes that much of a difference in regards to tension. My tension is pretty, pretty steady. I, Overall, when you're using this type of fabric, you want to make sure that you don't use... Hold on, I just lost my spot. Okay, I'm over here somewhere. Okay, you want to make sure that your tension um, is a little bit looser when you're stitching like this. Otherwise, it could fall through the cracks, I guess you could say, because of um, the way that the even weave is. So, just be careful of that. Okay, so three, four, five. Yeah, Leanne, that's true. It can warp if you don't want your tension. People also say it warps if you just do half cross. That's why I wanted to kind of teach myself how to do continental um, with the half cross to kind of change things up so I make sure it doesn't warp. But personally, I'm not really worried too much about warping because I feel like the framing situation can kind of help that. So I'm not too worried. And there are tons of people. It just depends on the person, really. Um, some people say, oh, doing half cross is going to warp. And then other people are like, I've done half cross for 25 years. Not exaggerating. I've done half cross for 25 years and everything's still fine. So I'm just like, I'm listening to those people and I'm just going to do it. Because, you know, it's really all up to you and it's a learning experience. And if you end up doing something that, you know, kind of hurts your work or whatever, it just comes down to you live, you learn, and the world's not going to end because you can always do a new project. You can rectify your situation somehow or, you know, whatever. So I'm all about, you know, you just got to keep on keeping on. It's just the way it is. All right, so I'm counting over five now. One, two, three, four, Double count. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm going to be right here. But like I said, my tension, I personally feel, is pretty consistent throughout. I'm not, like, super heavy on the tension. I'm, like, making is causing issues and stuff. Oh, I was going to show you tent. Okay, so I can show you tent here a little bit. Um, although it's probably hard to see because it's not close up. So I'll just, it's like one up on the bottom, then two at the top, then three, then in four, then in five, then down six. Like I said, it's a little confusing, but that's literally what I think in my head. And um, yeah, people talk about blocking and doing that, whatever blocking is, I don't understand it. But, um, it's not the end of the world. So, it'll be okay. Okay, so I just did the first row. And I call them, when you think of tent stitching, um, and I can't believe I'm actually talking about this. I must feel very brave right now because there's a lot of you that are, like, master tent stitchers. And I'm really not at all. I suck at it. But anyway, um, the way that I do it is I go up in the bottom hole, then down in the top hole, just like normal. And then you go backwards. So, it's like... I mean, I can just, I can show you again when I'm done with this. So, like, this row would be up, 
and then the next row would be down, but you would start at the top and then go down, and you would go in the opposite direction. Actually, oh, that might not be right. I'm going to do it this way, though. Yep, I came up in the wrong hole. Mm -mm. It's super confusing, but I can make it a legitimate video on tint if people are wondering. Hey, Yasmin, thanks for hopping on. I just answered. No, it wasn't you. Did you ask me a question? Somebody did. Maybe it was you. Oh, Leanne, I can't be doing that. No, I'm actually. Um, that's interesting. No, I actually am right-handed. I could not switch it up, actually. I don't think I could. It's just the way I ended up doing for myself. See? Aren't you glad there's no cross-stitch rule? I mean, I could try doing it the other way, but... Yeah, there's no way. My needle is always in my, my right hand, regardless of how I stitch. It's always in the right hand, because that's what I'm comfortable with. I didn't know that people stitch any other way, but that's cool. Becky, you want to do a video about it to help a sister out? Because I'm really not good at it at all. I am the worst at it. But I try. The problem is, though, for me, is because of how I stitch, it doesn't make any logical sense for me to do continental. It's just like, how do you, I do I just count rows 1, 3, 5, and 9 are going up, and then rows 2, 4, 6, and 8 are going down, like, that doesn't, and then 10 is in there somewhere, too. Like, it just doesn't, it doesn't make any logical sense for me to do 10. I love the idea, but, um, <laughs> Becky, you totally can't, actually. If I did, this, if I did this through Zoom, I could make you, like, a presenter, and you could, like, be a guest. That would be cool! We should start doing that. Just have people come on and, like, share what they're good at. And then I can just host it and then stitch while everyone talks and does their thing. I think that's cool. That's a cool idea. If you're down, we can figure out how to make it happen for real. I think that would be fun. Yeah, I don't know how you guys do that. I literally cannot stitch with mine. Like, mm -mm. I don't know. Maybe I'm ambidextrous. I'm really not, though, so I really don't know how you guys do this. Okay, so I'm going kind of back and forth here because the stitches are kind of all over the place and I'm not going to re-thread anything, so. Cool. So, um, I'm not even going to be... So for next week, maybe, Becky, I can talk to you and we can kind of see for real how that's going to work because then I can be like, Becky taught me how to do this and then I can just figure it out because right now I'm definitely not doing it. <laughs> it's bad. Hold up. Did I stitch something wrong again? No. One. Okay, so this row has two blanks and then two stitches here. Okay, so where am I? But you're not in the right place, dude. Huh? Alright, hold up. Something happened. Maybe this is not correct? Oh, I missed a stitch there. I actually did not stitch that part. Okay, now we know. I'm telling you, mistakes happen all the time. That's so interesting. So, Beth Ann, when you stitch, like, normal, regular stitching, like, not two-handed, what hand do you work the needle with? What needle does all the stuff? Or what hand does all the stuff? Okay. Now we're here. I did this right here. Now we're over here. Okay, so... This is what I'm saying. Like, after I stitch, I have to mark it off. Because if I don't... 
Yeah, see, that's so weird. I don't know. Super weird for me. I could try it. Just for fun. I'll try it. Nope, my hand feels super awkward. <laughs> I'm using my left hand. Just for fun. Okay, one, two, three. Like, it's just very awkward. I just, see, I just poked myself with a needle. I can't be doing this, y'all. Honestly, it's probably takes, like, some practice, like everything else, probably. I would assume. I mean, it's actually not too bad, but I... I got taught this type of stitching from uh, Nicole. She helped me and she taught me how to do two-handed stitching. Okay, I'm going back to what is feels right. Alright, you guys. I am about one minute over. I try not to do these videos for too long. That's so interesting. I bet that's really interesting. I don't know. Okay, so I will look into doing the Zoom. Um, I'll do a couple practice runs when my husband gets back in town to see if it works. And I'll make an account. And then maybe for Rizzles, we'll have Becky on and she can teach us how to do continental tint because um, that would be cool. Woo -hoo! So, um, we will do that next week and we'll see what happens. I will be um, out of town next week, but I still will do a video. Well, it depends because I don't know if we're going to be on the road or not. We're traveling the whole month of June because my husband is cray cray. And we are going all over the country, literally. We're going to Michigan, North Carolina, Indiana, Iowa. <sighs> We're going all over the place. So, um, if you're in any of those places and you want to say hi, holla at your girl. Um, that would be cool. But anyway, so, oh, look, you're giving me some love. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Okay, I'm going to go and continue stitching. I will update you next week about the Zoom. We'll see about um, the virtual stuff. Or the, what was I going to say? Oh, the virtual stitch it along a thon thing. We'll see how we can do that. And then um, make sure you have access to the prior videos. And then join me on Wednesday over on my fitness page. And we do a video there. Well, this is similar to what we're doing. But I answer fitness questions and also um, stitching questions. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So join us on Wednesday over there. I'll post over here and I'll do a reminder and all that good stuff. But Stay tuned. All right, you guys, have a stitchy, stitchy day. All right, have a good night. Bye.